Getting your first cybersecurity role is the hardest step in your cybersecurity journey. Yet, I've seen people put so much effort into degrees and certifications to get their first cybersecurity role only to screw it all up in six to nine months. I've seen it time and time again. In this video, I'll explain to you what's the most common mistake that I see people make in cybersecurity and how you can avoid making that mistake. If you're new here, my name is Unix Guy. I'm a cybersecurity executive with over 20 years of experience. Um, growing up I didn't have any career mentors so I created this YouTube channel to be the mentor that I've never had. Mistake number one that I see people do over and over is obsess over certifications and I mean really well and truly obsess over cybersecurity certifications. Don't get me wrong, I'm a big advocate of cybersecurity certifications, but you should think of certification as either a method to get you the role that you want or a structured way to learn a topic. It should not be an obsession and I'm guilty of this myself. I remember I used to work in a bank as a cybersecurity analyst so I'm looking mainly through firewalls and proxies and IPSs analyzing cyber threats, yet I was so obsessed with penetration testing that I spent all my time learning penetration testing. Now, it's not necessarily a bad thing, like I was studying for penetration testing after work and on my weekends, and that's fine. However, I was also studying for certifications during work, which led me to not being interested in the job, and that's really the problem. People around you notice that you are not interested in the job or that you're doing the bare minimum, and that's what I was was doing. Um, I was analyzing incidents, I was doing what I'm asked to do, but that's about it. I didn't go above and beyond, I didn't try to solve bigger problems, I shied away from taking the initiative to do more, to prove myself, and the problem is when people know you, they know that you're capable of more. So if your attention is fully somewhere else, that can lead to people think that you're not interested. And no matter how much you try to hide it, people can tell. So that's a mistake I made myself. I I simply couldn't find a balance between focusing on my day job and doing a good job at my role and studying for a certification to do something else which is penetration testing so I was a security analyst and I wanted to do penetration testing which brings me to the second most common mistake that I see people do is thinking that the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence and that was me I made that mistake and in hindsight I wish I didn't make it you see I wanted to be a penetration tester so bad that I ended up neglecting my current job uh, which make me lose out on promotions opportunity I could have moved sideways within the same bank like I was working for a very large bank that there was an opportunity for me to even become a pen tester within the same bank but the problem is I was so distracted with studying for certifications and my attention was somewhere else that my boss wasn't very happy with me and that's the problem um, if you watch my other videos, I recommend that you talk about to your boss about your intentions, you ask them to help you to get somewhere where you want to be, uh, but the only way that you're going to be successful in that is if you're actually doing a good job in your role. Uh, if you're going above and beyond, if you are the person who's putting your hand up for any new task, this will make people go out of their way to help you. Um, if you're completely obsessed over certifications, thinking that certifications are the only way to get you to where you want to be, that can lead to you losing out on opportunities. And I've actually seen the opposite of this happen. So I have a friend who works in a very, very toxic environment. And I'm like, it's probably the most toxic environment that I've ever seen. In that environment, people yell at each other. Uh, I know people who work there and quit on the same on their first week. I know people who um, spent two months and just walked out and I know someone who took a leave of absence to uh, work with a uh, therapist because of all the trauma they got from the job so I, I don't recommend working for an environment like this but what my friend did is she just paid attention to her job she minded her, her own business and the only thing she did different is she simply didn't quit and in that particular environment, this was like her going above and beyond because simply no one wanted to stay there, including her boss. So her boss resigned and as a result, she was promoted because she was the only one who's been there for two years and she knew the systems best. Now, again, don't get me wrong, I don't recommend working for a toxic environment, but what I'm trying to tell you is um, look at the current environment you're in, look at your current job. There are opportunities that you don't know about and there is definitely opportunities in the future that will come up that 
you will be the preferred person to get those opportunity if you've proved yourself in your current job. I know the grass might look greener on the other side of the fence, but trust me, every job has problems, every job has pros and cons. Uh, penetration testing might sound attractive, but once you do it, it may be boring or it might be interesting. Like it depends on your personality. Again, uh, I just don't want you to be hooked into this future idea of that amazing role that you're trying to get while you ignore what you already have. And that's definitely a mistake that I've made. So my advice to you is yes, keep studying for certification. Do that after working hours, maybe on weekends. But also I want you to sit back, relax, enjoy the current job that you have, go above and beyond, put your hand up for more tasks, more work, try to prove yourself first because this will lead you to creating long last connections and even friendships with your bosses and with your colleagues and everyone will respect you more and when there is a new opportunity you will be the first person they think of because you're that overachiever you're that person who outperformed and they're in your current role so they have a reason to believe that if they recommend you for another role you will do equally good if not better and you will make them look good which is not too different to the best career advice that I've received that I talked about it in this video which I strongly recommend that you watch